want them to have an improved performance. Certainly got off to a great start in terms of performance wise. Um, yeah, we've we now well uh, building up and attacking. We came to the goal of the opponent, uh, in the first half I think we had uh, uh, the do the dominant play. So that's a huge improvement and a huge compliment to the players in the way that they have adapted. Um, but yeah, you cannot keep going like that. It's, we don't have the, the strength and the stamina to keep, to keep going. But the games were very, very effective for us to, uh, to know what we need to work on. And we have a few months and that is trainable. Um, so I would like to take the positives out of it in the sense that we, we do play against an opposition that is ranked in between Denmark and, and Belgium in a way that we could even dominate. Um, and yeah, we have to get those individual mistakes out. We, we just need to be able to play uh, 90 minutes without those, uh, those mistakes because that costs you again. In terms of the young players coming in, you spoke before they were knocking on the door. Eibol Madney started the game. It's, a, it's only a fifth cap for Jamie Finn, you know, Jesse yep. comes off the bench. Yep. You, know, you can see them coming of age almost. Yeah, and uh, sometimes it's a bit naive still, but that's the age and that's the in inexperience. But we definitely have a very bright future with such a talent. Going forward now, it's, it's a bit of a long gap, isn't it? Like, so what yeah. are you doing in the meantime now to kind of stay in contact with players and uh, kind of make sure that they stay to the high level? Like? Well, what I said uh, after the previous game, as I repeated here, we have to train with boys. Two times training at women's national league level is not enough. With all respect for the fantastic work that everybody is doing uh, and the great improvement of the league, but we have to, to do more, we have to train more under higher pressure. So that is what we're going to organise. Um, and and uh, as I said, everything is open now. And players do realise that that needs, needs to be done. Um, so they can get once or twice a week under this pressure. And that will improve their stamina to make those explosive actions also at the end of the game. And that will bring a more consistent play uh, throughout the whole game. Along with those the girls training with boys, the sessions they're doing at their own clubs, you've also increased the amount of women's uh, home base sessions that you're doing as well. Is that something over the next couple of months that you'd look to utilize? Yeah, those home base sessions are crucial in um, getting the pressure on players from each other and getting our level of play up. And we see that when we have a session, it's so intense, uh, so, so that is great. But you cannot get them every week in because they come from the north and the south and um, and, and yeah, that's, it, it's get too late. Uh, so we're also thinking of regional uh, sessions, but the crucial, the crucial, crucial thing is to start training with boys. That's the only way.